All right, let's you catch some bait. Right yeah, I'm gonna throw it here over there. I'm gonna try it right here first. Which one? Waiting, what ass? <laughs> You're gonna get those over there, dude. What? Right, watch out. Big ass shad, go give me the bucket. All in the fucking brain. Yeah. Put water in it? Yeah. Uh, huh? So where? Yeah, halfway is fine. That's crazy. Don't tell me I'm, this is gonna be the only bait I find. Here, show the camera the bait fish. The bait? Yeah. Oh, the recording? Yeah. See, guys, this is the size. That's what a mermaid looks like. Bait you want. Big old <laughs> shad. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, two? Yeah. He's a piranha. Shit. This is actually a really good spot, or it was at one point. Before, you see right there. Uh, where those one, two, three, four poles are, it used to be open, so I was able to drive my truck in here. And they put a stop to that really quick. I'm guessing people came out here mudding and tore this place up. Dude, last time I came here was like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And you could tell, like, the tires on the side where it used to come. People used to come down here. What were you saying? Yeah, I think your sister was here too, remember? Yeah. I was like, me. I wasn't, I wasn't with you all the way. Where were you at? Are they working or something? It was raining that day. I actually almost got bit by a snake over there somewhere. Yeah, look, that's a trail right there. Let me tell you a quick, quick story. One time I came fishing by myself and um, I saw a car up there parked and I thought, oh, well, maybe it's another fisherman. Hopefully he's more down the, down the creek or down the, down the waterway. And nope, I walked into old two, they're probably in their 50s or 40s. Fifth, they were like in their 50s. I, I stumbled across them and they were in the middle of love making. They were in the middle of, of uh, the dude was pretty deep in her and, and I just pretended I didn't see nothing. They got up really quick and left. Look, you can tell somebody got stuck here by 
the million branches they put because they don't know how to there we go I don't know if you can see the water at the distance It's crazy how things change, you know? Like back then, it used to go straight that way and then come this way. Now it has its own little path. Like, it's crazy how pathways change throughout the time, you know? Like this path was covered in grass at one point. Wait, this one? Yeah, the one that's at that one. Is he alive, right? Okay, so we're on this one, we're going to install, we're going to actually be doing uh, a live bait on this. So on this one we have a, uh, a two ounce sinker and a circle hook. I think this is, this is, this is should be an eight aught. Hold this. And the way we're gonna hook this guy, look how big this guy is. Okay guys, look how big he is compared to my hand. So don't be afraid to use big bait. Ow, he stuck me. Bitch. So the way you want to hook this is you can go on the tail. This is a lateral line. Right here is a lateral line right here. I don't know if you can see it and he's peeing on me. But this is a lateral line. So you want to hook on top of the lateral line because if you go underneath it, you will kill the fish. So we'll go ahead and hook them right here. And remember to clean off any scale on the tip of the hook so it'll look like this over there okay we'll bring him That's fine right there. All right. Now, guys, this is the important one. I'm going to show you how to do this one. You want to grab it? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fillet it from here to about where the fin is, but you're not going to, um, you're not going to cut it all the way off. You're just going to do that to get the scent out. So once you fillet it, you'll fold over the flap or you can go halfway it doesn't matter it's okay go halfway like where his thumb is and then fold that flap over and then do the hook do the hook through through here and through the through the uh, skin and that'll be fine so go ahead and fillet that the knife's over there are sure you want to do it no oh, you, you can see it. how you do it all right give me the knife Damn, my hands gonna yeah, so my hand is the one that better sting right here. over here, don't So what you're going to want to do, you're going to fillet it from here. It's kind of hard to do it standing up. So go from here and you're going to just go at an angle like this. down the spine and you see all that blood coming out that's going to attract the monsters okay so grab the rod just unhook it so this is the rig we're going to use with this one we're going to use the same thing uh, uh, this one's going to be a four ounce weight but you can do a two ounce it's not a big deal and then i have a uh, a, a peg float right here and then a circle hook so what you're going to do is bend the flap over like this and you're going to want to hook it like that and just make sure you remove any scale from the hook and it'll look like this
we'll just leave that one there. So we didn't catch anything. What do we catch? Not a thing. Not a so, thing. Let me give you the update and the scoop on what's going on right now. They came to scare off and here comes a snake towards us. Oh, you see this? That anaconda right there? The python. No, no, no. See, if I had my BB gun, I'd be like, you know what? Let's smoke it. You want to kill it? All right. Let's kill us. Let's kill this snake. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Did I kill it? I don't know. I know I hit it, but I don't know if it died. Where'd it go? Uh, I think you hit it and it's just like, wait. No, no, no. That's the water dripping there. Here, get a, here, get a stick and try and like lift it up. We well, broke. The back of the snake? Yeah. So if, it, if you hit it, it's going to be like more of that, like that way. I don't think I knocked it out though, did I? I mean, it was a pretty hard hit. I don't think it was hard I don't enough. see it anywhere though. Well, I mean, you probably did hit it. I hit it, but I think it went under the water and took off. What's going on, guys? Uh, you know, as fishermen, this happened to us many times as you get, especially today's a Monday, which is unusual where people are at the lake, but since we got the quarantine and all this stuff going on it there's more people than usual at the lake anyway so the lake's actually over there and then it comes out and it, and, it, and, it, and there's like a little creek that comes out this way and it goes all the way that way so this is kind of like the back side of the lake like the little creek area and it's not that deep right here it's maybe five feet deep at most in this area and then right here it's no more than five feet. Uh, this lake actually is no more than about 10 feet deep anywhere on this lake. Uh, it's about eight feet when it's wet, when on a normal day, 10 feet when it's heavy rain. Um, anyways, to get to the point, we were fishing and these kayakers, uh, this old, these ladies came kayaking and they came in hauling they my line was right there you can see my fish pole my line there and i have my fish pole over there and it's fine to kayak but you got to have a little bit of courtesy because even i kayak i've kayaked these waters before when there's people fishing on the bank and what i do is uh, i'll pedal really fast back there and then i just kind of cruise it along this area and i try to stay to the closer to the banks away from the people here um, and I won't so I won't be in their way, but no these people that came in with their kayaks just came in like blazing Ran right over my fishing line hard like paddling. They went that way Pedaled paddled over my other fishing line and then stopped right where my fishing line is and started doing circles and going fast back that way So it was just a big kind of it, it really been pissed me off piss it, like it's who does that, you know? It's if you have to have a little bit of courtesy. I know I don't own the lake. Nobody owns the lake um, But you just have a little bit of courtesy to people around here enjoying not just kayaking but fishing have courtesy um, even as kayakers of uh, you know, uh, it's it's pretty annoying. So Pretty much the fishing's probably dead in this area Because um, it came in and made a lot of ruckus and then over there I, t I reeled in my fishing pole because I'm they just they were doing a bunch of circles over there where my other fishing rod was so I just reeled it in there's no point of leaving it out there um, like I said this lake is not that deep it's about four feet at most in that area so oh, they were paddling really hard doing circles they just scared everything away in that area over there um, so this is the last thing that I have left we're gonna go ahead and reel this in guys that we didn't catch anything today unfortunately which this lake is not a very good lake anyways to fish there's not a whole lot of big fish i mean i have caught them before but they're not that easy to fish yeah thank you for that here can you take this off look at this a turtle came and smoked it see oh, that oh yeah here there's a 
There's a kayaker coming over there too. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head out. We're probably gonna go to we're gonna go ahead and go to Academy. Walk around over there, see what's up. Oh, they're here already. Alrighty guys, so this is it for this video. For this video, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.